Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be um, showing you this new collage soup book. Well, it's not new, it's new to me, uh, by Collage Soup. And if you saw my last couple uh, videos, like live stream and video, I've been working from this book, um, Neither Here Nor There, which has lots of cool black and white images. And um, so if you want to see a flip through this book, go to my live stream from two weeks ago. It was a very fun book and actually the um, Emily Stone um, saw my video and she offered to send me a book of my choice. So I chose this one, The Collage Soup, Chronological Disorder. She's got quite a few or they have quite a few books. Um, they have a website you can go to, collagesoup.com I believe. And I saw I think at least 23 books there and uh, they're available on Amazon. So I'll just do a quick flip through of this book as well. And um, they have lots of different subject matters. So if this doesn't appeal to you, check out their website. You might see other ones. What I find interesting too, is that you can use the images. Um, so the copyright is uh, not for reproduction in whole. Individual elements may be reproduced. So you can use a page, you can uh, cut out elements and use it on, in your own work without fear of um, copyright issues. So I'll just do a quick flip through. As you can see, this book is a little bit of a smaller size. This one's more of a rectangular shape. This one's about eight and a half by 11. This one's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So it's more of a square format. And so I'm just gonna do a flip through and we already talked about the copyright. So I'm just gonna flip through it just quickly. And depends what kind of style of collage you'd like to do. Like this would be good for steampunk. Um, I'm going to be doing a mixed media collage, but you could cut out individual elements and use them for tags. So, you know, you can cut out each thing individually. This, you could add things to it to like make a scene. Egyptian. Paris. Asian. I do have an Asian journal I want to do. Oh, these are beautiful. All of those, all those different Eiffel Towers. I do have, like I said, an Asian journal I'm working through. This is just kind of some random, I like the spacey retro look. So it's a real assortment of, of different elements. And you don't have to use the whole page. You can cut out different elements and use them. Or you could use like this whole page as a background and add things to it. You could use it in scrapbooking, collage, tags. Mixed media art, that's cool, I like that. I like, I mean, I like all the images, but I especially like um, kind of space things, retro things, depends on my mood. So I thought this was a good pick because it kind of um, is all over the place. It's hard to choose a book because they all look very interesting. So I thought you guys would like to see a flip through to see what this book's all about, see if it appeals to you. Um, if it doesn't, like I said, there's lots of different um, styles and subject matter available. You can check out their website and on Amazon as well. There's some cool girls, vintage girls, some fun guys. The thing though is, you know, it's double-sided. So you have to kind of choose which side you want to cut up if you want to cut it. Um, I'm going to do, I think an image transfer or you could copy one side and then cut it up. Um, I'm probably going to do another image transfer to use up one side and then cut up the other side just to use it fully. I like those ladies, they're really funky. Oh, very cool. It's all very cool. I keep saying very cool. <laughs> I should think of another adjective. Cute little kitty. Ah, she's a funky lady. There you go, funky, that's another word. So, um, they also have some coloring books, but they have quite a few um, collage books and it's very good paper. Like it's, it's nice and smooth. It's almost the weight of copy paper, maybe a little bit thicker, but anyhow, I think I'm going to use this page here because this, um, I'm not a huge beetle fan, but I do like the beetles, but I think I'd like to colorize this. So you could use, um, markers to colorize it. But like I said, I want to show how you can use both sides. You could copy it. Um, I think I'm going to cut out these ladies and I'm going to do an image transfer of the beetles here. So I'm going to cut this page out. So before I do an image transfer, I um, 
I found that I need to warm up my plate. So these are just some stamps I carved. I don't know if I'll use them in this collage, but while I'm warming up my plate, I might as well make something, something fun, right? If you use acrylic paint though, you gotta wash these right away. So I picked out a few colors that if I do use with this this uh, collage that it should work and I'm just gonna do an ombre just with this ooh with this orange it's too much paint and this uh, maples yellow red this is actually called vermilion I'm gonna move this so I don't get it dirty. our warm-up pull. Like I said, I don't know if I'll use it in this collage. We'll just see how it goes. I don't know where this collage is going, but at any rate, we have something. So I'll put that aside. So apparently I missed pressing record, which is why I've started doing more lives, because I uh, I don't press record well enough. So I did a thin layer of the black, put my image down, and lifted it up. And then I used my hand... Um, carve stamps to just make this border. So before we cut up this image, maybe I'll try to do it again to show you the process and I'll put it up there. We'll try with a different color though. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so that is dry. Um, this was with this black, Mars Black uh, Liquitex Basics and I'm tempted to pull up my pan pastels and color it in, but I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna do an ombre Naples on the top. Let's add some yellow. Let's add some yellow here. And we'll do vermilion on the bottom. Should we do some blue? Why not? Let's do some blue. I'm gonna turn it this way, just because I prefer to roll upwards. So I'm gonna do these three colors first, and then we'll do the we'll do the blue separately. I don't think it was quite dry there. That's okay. Do this blue here. Bring it up a little bit. And I'll just repeat this a little bit just to lighten it up. Okay, let's put our paper. Okay, let's give this a pull. So that's looking good. I'll just put this over here for a second. It works. So here's this one. So it's pretty subtle. I mean, with the white, uh, opaque white, it would be more bright, but that's kind of cool. We 
know which one am I going to use with this? I feel like making some papers with dots, or will this will this work as a base? So I'm just going to start cutting and see where we end up. So I decided to use this background piece and just this element uh, cut out and then I'm going to add that up top. Um, to do the cutout, I did decide to scan the original, the original one into my computer and I printed out a couple copies. So one of the copies I've cut up because I just like I like this as is, so I might just keep that as is. And then this one, we're gonna add these uh, funky ladies here to the sides. So I'm just gonna glue that down and then we'll um, talk about it. So here's the finished collage. I think it's done. I'm debating whether I should put a word on it, or maybe here, but I think we're gonna call that done. I'm just gonna date it. December 2023, here we go. So I hope um, you enjoyed this and I enjoyed playing with this book. Here's the original, original jelly transfer. This one's a little bit more muted, but I think it still works with the elements that um, we had on the back side of the paper. I could still use that if I wanted to, or I could still cut out these, make new collages. Um, so that was playing with this book uh, by Collage Soup chronological disorder and yeah i had lots of fun thanks for watching bye